Hi everyone, happy Earth Day. Um, you have a packet that I put in your um, work on Monday that you can work on on your own and have fun with. Um, but I wanted to share a story with you um, that has to do with Earth Day. And um, this story is called Miss Fox's Class Goes Green by Eileen Spinelli, um, illustrated by Ann Kennedy and published by Scholastic. Remember I read to you a story about Miss Fox's class um, a few weeks ago where they um, went out and decided to um, shape up and get some exercise. Well this one is about going green and when we think about Earth Day we might hear that phrase of going green and when someone goes green that means that they are thinking about um, recycling, reducing, and reuse and reusing um, their the things that they have. Okay. So, we're going to see how Miss Fox's class goes green. The morning Miss Fox came to school on a bicycle, her students were surprised. Does your car have a flat tire? asked Mouse. No, said Miss Fox, but cars pollute the air. I've decided to drive only when I must. I am going green. You don't look sick to me said Raccoon. Miss Fox chuckled. Going green isn't about being sick. It's about keeping our earth healthy. Who will help? Everyone piped up. Me! Wonderful, said Miss Fox, and then she wrote three things on the blackboard. Number one, use less stuff, recycle. Two, use less energy, Number three, use less water. Can you do it, asked Miss Fox. We can do it, the students replied. Miss Fox pumped her fist. Yes, we're going green. Frog jumped up. I can use less water, he grinned. I can stop taking showers. Bunny pinched her nose. Mm, you will get very stinky. Miss Fox said, Frog, doesn't have to stop taking showers. He can just take shorter ones. Squirrel called out, I know how to save paper. No more homework. Miss Fox smiled. Mm, that's not going to happen. But you can use both sides of the paper. Mouse said, Turn off the lights when we leave a room. Bear had an idea too. Sharpen old crayons. Now you're talking, said Miss Fox. That night, Mouse stepped into the shower. She liked long, suzzy showers with lots of singing. But Mouse was going green, so she took a shorter shower and sang afterwards. Raccoon was getting ready for bed. Brr, she said, it's chilly. She thought of asking her mom to turn up the heat, but Raccoon wanted to go green, be green, so she took an extra blanket from the shelf. When Squirrel saw Super Flash Bubble Sold Buzzard Sneakers in Barney's Shoe Shop, he told his sister, I want those. But Squirrel was, go was green now, so he had second thoughts. Mm, there's still a lot of fun and run in my old sneakers. Bunny went to the supermarket with her dad. When her dad started packing the groceries in a plastic bag, Bunny said, It takes mucho years for one plastic bag to decompose. The next time Bunny and her dad went shopping, they brought along a bag made of cloth. On Saturday, Young Bear was watching TV. His friend Possum stopped by. Do you want to play ball, he asked. Young Bear grabbed his glove and ran out the door. He was halfway down the street when he remembered something. <gasps> I forgot to turn off the TV. So what, said Possum. So I'm going green, said Young Bear. Wait just a minute, I'll be right back. 
I'll turn off the light too. Frog went to visit old uh, Uncle Toad. Uncle Toad had a soccer in his shed. Had a oh, excuse me, had a so scooter in his shed. He was giving it to Frog. Frog couldn't wait to ride that scooter. But Uncle Toad also had old jars and newspapers in his shed, and Frog wanted to be green. Can I help you load these into your truck? said Frog. We can take them to the recycling center. I can ride the scooter later. At school the next day, Miss Fox's class held a toy, toy swap. They try, I'm tired of my sparkle yo-yo, said Bunny. I'll trade you my umbrella hat, said Raccoon. Who wants my T-Rex mask, asked Squirrel. I'll take that, said Frog. Here's my talking tomato. Says, go green, don't buy new toys. Miss Fox rocks. Swap. Oh, yeah. Day after day, Miss Fox's class made good green choices. They picked up litter from the schoolyard without being told. They planted a tree in honor of Miss Fox's birthday. One morning, the principal showed up at school on a bike. Look, Bunny called, Mr. Moose is going green too. The students cheered. The next day, Miss Fox's class had lots of company going green. Now it was the whole school. So on this Earth Day, think about the things that you can do to um, help the Earth and help to take care of it. And um, maybe you're already doing some things in your house, but what are some other things that you can maybe do? So have a great day and happy Earth Day.